Hey guys, what's up and welcome to in today's video. So for today, I'm super excited because we are trying out KKW Beauty. I have the concealer kit thingies. I have the concealer, the baking powder, and then the brightening powder, which I'm super excited about. And then I have the KKW X Mario eyeshadow palette. I was so excited to try this because I heard everybody talking about how good it was and everything. I haven't even swatched it. I am super excited to see how this performs. I'm really, really excited to see how this performs because you guys know I am ride or die for my shape tape. So yeah, so I'm super excited to try these products. So let's stop talking and jump into the video. Alright, so first things first, I'm going to do my eyes first. So I'm going to use the KKW and Mario eyeshadow palette first. I'm actually going out tonight, so I kind of want to do like a nighttime look. I really, I saw everybody using this blue and I'm like, need to try that blue because I never ever use blue. But I think I'm going to use this for my lower lash line and then just focus the rest of the shades on my upper on my lid. So yeah, so let's jump into that. So first things first, I'm going to use my Morphe eyelid primer. I just bought this and so far I am enjoying it a lot. Actually, let's pin my hair back too because this is going to be annoying. Once we have that blended in, I'm going to set it with the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Airbrush Finish Powder, Micro Perfecting Powder, whatever this powder. Alright, so to be honest with you guys, I don't have a problem with Kim Kardashian. I am a fan of hers, to be honest with you. I don't mind her at all, so I saw that she was coming out with the eyeshadow palette and the concealers. Super, super excited because she is like the queen of the lamb, I mean, let's be real. So yeah, to be honest, I have tried Kylie's shadows and I didn't like them. Like I wound up just like giving the palette away because I really didn't like her shadows. But I heard that these are made in a different lab, so hopefully that makes a difference. But yeah, so I'm super excited. So I'm going to dive in to this third shade of the palette right here. I don't know how I'm supposed to read these names. If I'm reading it correctly, I think this is Miami, I think. I don't know. It's a third shade. I'm just going to put that in my crease using my Morphe M518. Wow, so far so good. It's blending very nicely and these are very, very pigmented. I don't know if you guys watched my favorites video, but this, bl this brush for blending eyeshadow is a lifesaver. I have never blended eyeshadow as good as I have until I got this brush. This brush is a game changer for blending eyeshadow. I freaking love it. Alright, so I think we're pretty much done with the crease because that was a very, very intense color. So looking at these shades, I'm not exactly sure which shade I want to use. I think I'm going to go in with this shade right there. I'm just feeling it. Use my MAC 242 brush. I'm gonna dip my brush in. I don't know, I wanna use that shade. Oh. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna use it. I'm gonna dip my brush into that shade. And I do this with all my shadows, so it's only fair that I do it with hers. I always spray my brush with Fix Plus, so that's what I'm gonna do. Do you see that? That looks stunning. By the way, this palette does retail for $45, so it's pretty up there in price. It's pretty competitive with like the palettes that are sold at Sephora, so no shocker there. I don't know if you guys saw the photos from the shoot that her and Mario did for this, but Mario had a palette and everybody had one of the tables. Oh my god, the thing was really beat up. He like uses use it with palettes. I'm like very gentle with mine. I treat them like they're like part of my family, you know? Now that we have the lid shade on, I'm gonna go back in with that crease shade and just kind of smooth out the edges. So, so far, so good. I'm just gonna take that Fluffy brush again with no product and just go back and forth. I always do this with my shadow. I just feel like it really makes a difference. Alright, so I kind of want to take 
this deeper like gray tone shade right there and I want to focus that on the outer corner. So I'm going to take this Morphe M433 and just gently dip my brush in there and oh that is pigmented so let's see. I'm just going to go back in with that lid shade with my brush quick just because from blending you can kind of blend away the lid shade. I just want to pack some more on. So that is it for the eyeshadow on my lid. I'm going to go ahead and do my face off the camera and then I'll be back to try out the concealers and then to finish up the rest of my makeup. So, okay. okay, so now I have my foundation on and my brows and I'm looking crazy as usual. So, time for the concealer. I'm super excited about this concealer. I got mine in the shade 3, which means that I got the brightening powder 1 and then the baking powder 1 because she has like, I think, 3 or 4 sections and the first like 4 shades go with the number one, then like the next like four shades go with number two, and then the next one let's go with number three. I think it's only three. So yeah, I got uh, number three in the concealer, and then I got number one for the rest of the powders and stuff. So I heard that this concealer is dry, and it, if you don't blend quickly, it will dry. So I'm going to do one eye at a time. So yeah, you guys know I am ride or die for my shape tape, and last time I tried a new concealer, it did not go well. The more Messier one. Oh, I did a whole video on it. I wound up returning it. It was just not my thing. It was a creasy, creasy mess. So this is what the packaging looks like. I really enjoy this nude packaging. I just think it's so beautiful along with the gray. Oh, it's just, I love it. It's simple, but it's just so elegant. Love it. Love it, love it. Okay, so I'm going to start with my right eye. This is what it looks like. It's a little like dough for applicator, not as big as the shape tape, so... By the way, I didn't buy the kit, I just bought these three things individually because I thought that buying the kit with the brushes would be a waste for me because one looks like an eyeshadow brush, the other one looks like it's a sponge, it doesn't absorb water, that would probably hurt my eyes and didn't interest me, so that's why I bought each of them individually, so let's get some blending. I'm really impressed by just dipping this in there once, how much product you get, like that's a lot, so. So far, so good, let's keep going. Alright, so this is the concealer. I, in my opinion, maybe because it's still drying, but it kind of is giving me like a like dewy finish under there. Do you guys see that? It's like kind of dewy. Okay. It blended nicely. Like there wasn't any issues blending it. Alright, so now let's highlight the center of my face like I usually do with my Tarte Shape Tape. Like how that looked on my nose on top of the foundation. It's not like moving it or anything, it's just blending very nicely on top of it, which I like. Okay, cool, cool. Alright, so now time for the baking powder. I don't bake and I don't like to bake, but I guess for the sake of this concealer, since it is a baking concept or whatever, I guess we'll bake. Oh, this is what the packaging looks like again. Beautiful, beautiful, love it. That's what the powder looks like. It's like a white, not white, but kind of like a cream color. So this brush, this Morphe, what is this, Morphe Y11, picks up a lot of products, so I feel like it would definitely be good for baking. So I'm just wiping it up. Now I'm just gonna, you always wanna do this, go back underneath the eyes and buff out any creases that you may have. This is a must. And look up.
baking because I get powder all in my eyes and I hate that. Alright, so I'm going to use this powder and I'm going to set where I put the concealer on my nose. This powder is literally getting everywhere and it's, ugh, I hate that. Okay, that's just, this is just like not working, so let's get rid of that powder. So while that bakes, I'm going to we'll first put the cap back on the powder. I have two powders that I really trust for underneath my eyes, and that is the Cover FX uh, Perfect Setting Powder and the Patrick Star. I really don't like to branch out when it comes to powders, but you know, for the sake of this concealer, giving it a shot. So now that while that simmers and bakes and becomes a good little treat, whatever, I'm gonna go ahead and set my face and I'm using the It Cosmetics Pores No More. This uh, powder is amazing. watch my videos, you know that I love a brightening effect. I am obsessed with the MAC Studio Fix and the Charlotte Tilbury powders. I always put those under my eyes after I set my under eyes with a loose powder. I love the full thick of coverage it gives. I love the brightening effect. So the brightening powder, I'm super excited for because I live for brightening. Love it, love it. Let's show you the packaging quick. If I can get it out of the box. Okay. This is the brightening and mine is in the shame the shame the shade the shade one and this is what it looks like it kind of looks like a banana powder you can't well, maybe not but like kind of and it comes with like this little mirror say hi ah, <laughs> little mirror that I mean if you want to get up and close and personal to your face and see all your imperfections that's what this mirror is good for but other than that I'm sick of this baking under my eyes, so I'm going to take that same brush and just kind of dust this away. Actually, I'm going to take this brush, this Morphe M501. It's just like a nice, loose brush. Now, I'm going to take my beauty blender, I always do this. Well, after I brighten, but since there's a lot of powder under my eyes, I'm going to go back and forth underneath my eyes, kind of press this powder into the... Uh, fine lines just so it doesn't crease and also absorb any of that excess powder that may be chilling under there. Coming in with the brightening powder, which is what I am most excited for. I'm dipping that Y11 brush into that powder. I'm going to use this itsy bitsy mirror and go back and forth. Okay. It did brighten. Can you see that? This eye versus this eye. Ooh, it does look like it brightens. Okay. So let's go back and forth on the other eye. Do my bronzer, my blush, and my highlight, and then I'll be back to finish up the lower lash line. Because if I sit here and talk to you guys the entire time, I will never get out of my house on time. And then my boyfriend will be like, you take so long. Why do you take so long? And then everybody's going to be late. Uh-uh. So that's what I'm gonna do. I will be right back. All right, so I have the rest of my face makeup on, bronzer, highlight. You see that glow? I put some eyeliner in my waterline, and now onto the rest of the eyes. So I am very excited but very nervous to do this because I've never done a blue lower lash line before, and I'm kind of feeling it. Very, not gonna lie, very very excited. So I'm just gonna take my trusty. Morphe M432 flat definer brush. This is what it looks like. It looks like a flat brush. And just dip it in there. So get some blue on there. I'm actually going to swirl it around a little bit. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and do this and see what happens. So. Ooh, I 
love how this looks right now. And I'm gonna take this like little flat brush like that and I'm gonna go into that deeper shade that we put on our outer corner. I'm just gonna kind of blend that blue out a little bit just so it's not like, cause right now it's looking a little harsh and we don't want it to look harsh, so that's what we're going to do. So I kind of want to intensify that blue, so I'm going to go back into it. Since this look is quite intense, I'm going to do an intense inner corner highlight and I'm going to take my Trust Me Ofra Cosmetics highlighter in the shade Pillow Talk. This is a very pigmented highlighter. It's just a little too pigmented for me, like on my cheek, but to put like in my inner corner, I really like it. And we're gonna spray it with some Fix Plus, that's how we're feeling right now. Alright, so that completes the face and everything. I'm gonna do my hair, put lipstick on, get dressed, be back, and give you guys my final thoughts. Alright guys, so I have the rest of my makeup on, I have my lipstick on, got my hair done, I even got the shirt on that I'm wearing tonight. So my final thoughts on all the products. Let's start with the palette. I really, really enjoyed this palette. The shadows blended really nice. I love the pigmentation of them. This is definitely a hit in my opinion. Do I think this is a unique palette? No. Do I have other palettes that have these colors in it? Yes, but do I like this one? I do. I do think the it's worth the money. If you're looking to invest in it, I don't think it's a bad idea. For somebody that doesn't have a lot of palettes, this one would probably definitely, definitely be a good one for you to purchase. In my opinion, I have a lot of palettes and I still purchased it and I like it and I'm probably going to continue to use it just because the pigmentation of it. I really do enjoy that blue shade. I really just enjoy all the shades in the palette, to be honest with you. This one I like, and like I said in the beginning, the packaging is on point. So let's start with the concealer. I do like the concealer. It is full coverage, as you can see. It blended nicely. There's, it's not creasing. Let's double check that quick. Nope, not creasing, full coverage, definitely. Looks like my Shape Tape, which is exactly what I need because if a concealer does not perform like my Shape Tape, it's just, it's no, it's like useless to me. It's like, might as well get rid of it like it so far. The baking powder, I like it. Do I feel like my under eyes look a little white? Yes. And I to be honest with you, I'm not a baker, like, at all. My eye, under eyes don't look too white, but I do prefer, like, the Cover FX one, which is, like, this one, I don't know if you can tell, but, like, this one's more white. This one kind of has more of a color to it. I do prefer these types of uh, loose powders from underneath my eyes. But it didn't, I mean, it kept my, it set my under, it set my concealer good. My concealer's not creasing, so, so far, I like the powder, but I probably wouldn't bake with it next time, to be honest with you, because that, that stuff was just everywhere. It was in my hair, it was in my eye, I hate baking. I'd probably just use a little bit less and just set it under my eye and call it a day. Now, the brightening powder, I actually really, really, really enjoy. This is what it looks like one more time. I do like it. I definitely do think it gave me that brightening effect that I go for. I love a bright under eye just because I do tend to have darker circles from time to time. So I, any any product that can brighten my... Whoa, these lights are like blinding me. <sighs> any product that can brighten my under eyes is a good one to me. Would I probably would use this concealer with my cover effects and see how it works with that and just kind of take away... The baking powder, you know, I'm going to play around with this. I kind of want to do a video where I do the Tarte Shape Tape versus the KKW concealer to kind of see them side by side and see how they both work. But yeah, so do I like all these products? Yes. So the palette retails for $45 and you get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Wait, no. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oh, you get 10 shadows. Sorry. <laughs> you get 10 shadows in this palette for $45. That's a typical price of an eyeshadow palette at Sephora, so if you are used to spending that kind of money, this is really like nothing to you. I like this palette. The All three of these products, the concealer, brightening powder, and the baking powder all retail for $18. So I bought all three of these for $54. I don't think the kit is worth it, to be honest with you, because the brush that comes with the kit kind of looks identical to the Urban Decay 
dual-ended brush that comes with the Naked Palace. The only thing is this end is a little bit more fluffy like a blending brush for your crease. I will personally never use it because I need a sponge under there. I can't use a brush or like no matter what the case is. But other than that, I enjoy these products. If you love or you hate Kim Kardashian, regardless, these products are good. I'm not here to hate on her. If her products are good, I'm going to say if they're good. If they're bad, I'm going to say, say that they're bad regardless of who they are. So, yeah. Other than that, that is the end of this video, you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I really was looking forward to making this video. I was looking forward to trying all of these products, and they worked really well for me. So hopefully, if you guys do invest in them, they work well for you too. But that's all I have for you guys in this one, and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!